In this section of the second grade join and separate equal groups unit, students will model, create, and describe contextual division situations in which a set of concrete objects is separated into equivalent sets. Students will use concrete objects, arrays, and number lines to model division situations. There are two distinct interpretations of division, partitive or sharing, and quotative or separating. In partitive division, the total amount is known, the number of groups are known, but the size or measure of each group is unknown. In quotative division, the total amount is known, the size or measure of each group is known, but the number of groups is unknown. Students should have experiences modeling, creating, and describing both partitive and quotative division situations. Materials include counters, linking cubes, and a linking cube number line. Students will use counters to model partitive division by sharing equal groups. Previously, students modeled and described joining equal groups. Students experienced scenarios that involved a known number of groups that contained an equal number of objects in each group. After joining the equal groups, students determined an unknown total. This process is reversed as students explore how to share a total set of objects among a known number of groups. Present a scenario such as, there are 12 cookies. Mia and Fernando share the cookies equally. How many cookies do they each get? Discuss what is known and unknown. How many total cookies do they have? 12. How many friends are sharing the cookies equally? Two. How many cookies will each friend get? This is unknown. We don't know how many each friend will get until we share the set of cookies equally with two people or groups. Students should use counters to model sharing the cookies between the two friends. So we have 12 counters and we're representing our two friends. Each friend can get six cookies. 12 total cookies shared equally with two friends equals six cookies for each friend. Next student should create a representation of the cookies that were shared equally. So here's a representation and the description. Students should discuss the relationship between joining equal groups and sharing a set equally. Whether we share a set equally or join equal groups, the groups must be equal in size. When we share a set equally, we start with a known total and determine the number in each group. But when we join equal groups, we determine an unknown total. Finally, students are responsible for creating a problem situation or story problem for a given model along with a description. Here's an example. If a student's presented with this model, they might write, I have eight stickers. If I share equally with my sister, how many do we each get? We each get four stickers. In this lesson, students will continue to use counters to model partitive division by sharing equal groups using an array. Introduce the scenario from sharing with arrays. Mrs. Gonzalez has 15 iPads. She wants to place the same number of iPads on three shelves. How many iPads will be on each shelf? After reading the scenario, ask, how many total iPads does Mrs. Gonzalez have? 15. How many shelves are there? Three. How many iPads will be placed on each shelf? This is unknown. We don't know how many will be placed on each shelf until we share the set of iPads on three shelves or groups. Using the array grids or the groups with rows on the sharing with arrays, count out a total of 15 counters. Share the iPads equally on each of the three shelves. How many iPads will be placed on each shelf? Five. Model how to complete the description. 15 total iPads shared equally on three shelves equals five iPads on each shelf. Transition to the sharing with arrays recording sheet where students can show a representation of the iPads that were shared equally. 
How is sharing a set of iPads equally on three shelves similar to joining equal groups? Whether we share a set equally or join equal groups, the groups must be equal in size. How is sharing a set of iPads equally on three shelves different from joining equal groups? When we share the iPads equally, we start with a known total and determine the number in each group or row. When we join equal groups or rows, we determine an unknown total. Discuss the relationship between joining equal groups and sharing a set equally. How joining three equal groups of five iPads equals a total of 15 iPads and how a total of 15 iPads shared equally on three shelves equals five iPads on each shelf. In this lesson, students will use counters to model quotative division by separating equal groups. Introduce the scenario from food groups. Martin has 18 tacos at his party. Martin gives two tacos to each friend. How many friends does Martin have at the party? After reading the scenario, ask students, how many total tacos does Martin have? 18. How many tacos does he give each friend? Two. How many friends does Martin have at the party? This is unknown. We don't know how many friends Martin has at the party until we separate equal groups of two tacos. Using food groups, count out a total of 18 tacos. Separate two tacos and designate that for friend one. Separate another two tacos from the remaining total and designate that for friend two. Continue separating groups of two until the total set of 18 tacos is all gone. How many friends does Martin have at the party? Nine, because there are nine groups of counters. Because students were repeatedly separating two from the total set of 18 tacos, this can be represented using repeated subtraction. How many times were we able to separate two tacos from our total of 18 tacos? Nine. Model how to complete the number sentence and description. 18 total tacos separated into equal groups of two tacos equals nine friends. Transition to the food group's recording sheet where students can show a representation of the equal groups of tacos that were separated for each friend. How is separating equal groups of two tacos from a total set similar to joining equal groups? Whether we separate equal groups or join equal groups, the groups must be equal in size. How is separating equal groups of two tacos from a total set different from joining equal groups? When we separate equal groups, we start with a known total and determine the number of groups. When we join the equal groups, we determine an unknown total. Discuss the relationship between joining equal groups and separating equal groups. How joining nine equal groups or friends with two tacos for each friend equals a total of 18 tacos and how a total of 18 tacos separated into equal groups of two tacos equals nine groups or friends. In this lesson, students will use linking cubes to model quotative division by separating equal groups using a number line. Introduce the scenario from the separating towers recording sheet. There are 14 total linking cubes. How many towers of seven can be made? Distribute linking cubes to students and a linking cube number line. After reading the scenario, ask students, how many total cubes do we have? 14. How many cubes do we need for each tower? Seven. How many towers can be made? This is unknown. We don't know how many towers can be made until we separate equal groups of seven cubes using a number line. 
Using the Lincoln Cube number line, students will count out a total of 14 cubes. They will separate seven cubes and designate that for tower one. Model labeling this group as a backwards jump of seven. Separate another seven cubes from the remaining total and designate that for tower two. Model labeling this group as a backwards jump of seven. Then ask students how many towers can be made. Two, because there are two towers of seven. Transition to the separating towers recording sheet where students can show a representation of the towers that were separated using the number line. Because students are repeatedly separating seven from the total set of 14 cubes, this will be represented on the number line. Ask students, how many times were we able to separate seven cubes from our total of 14 on the number line? Two, model how to complete the description. 14 total cubes separated into equal groups of seven cubes equals two towers. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.